One of the procedures I frequently undertake is an MRI fusion ultrasound guided biopsy of the prostate. This is a procedure to help men uh, who are at risk of having prostate cancer, taking samples from the prostate to see whether or not there is cancer. We can make the procedure more accurate and safer for patients by using information on the MRI scan to target particular suspicious areas of the prostate. That reduces the overall number of biopsies we need to take, which helps to minimize side effects and complications. We also do this through the transperineal route, which is going through the skin, um, and that reduces the infection risk. Um, I perform this usually as a day case outpatient procedure under local anesthetic, which means men can come into the clinic, have their procedure, and within an hour or two, they can leave to go back home. The recovery is pretty quick. I think most men may take the following day off work, but after that, most people are safe to get back to normal activities. We normally get the results back within a week, so we can either give people the good news that they do not have prostate cancer, or if there is prostate cancer, take them quickly to the next step to understand what the options are for them. So the main risks of a prostate biopsy are, if it's under local anesthetic, it can be uncomfortable. Usually the local anesthetic will take away the pain, but it's still possible to feel some of what's going on, a bit like going to the dentist. Um, very common side effects can be blood in the urine for a couple of days. There may be blood in the semen, which can persist for up to six weeks. Um, and some people can get temporary urinary symptoms, perhaps with a slower flow or some stinging when they pass urine or even some uh, effect on their erections for a few weeks. The overall infection risk is low uh, and I tend often not to give antibiotics to try and minimize antibiotic use. Um, and the risk of sepsis, which is a severe infection, is very low. Using the MRI scan to inform the biopsy is the way to make it as accurate as possible. So for most men, they can be confident that the result they get is that reflects what is actually in the prostate. Very occasionally, if, if patients, if, if there's an ongoing concern, we may recommend further monitoring with blood tests, further MRI scans, or very occasionally a repeat biopsy in the future. The MRI is very useful as an earlier step in the diagnosis of prostate cancer, because for many men, if the MRI is not suspicious, they don't need to proceed to a biopsy. But for men where the MRI scan is suspicious for prostate cancer, it's then very useful to inform the best way to do the biopsy. Now, some men can't have an MRI scan because they may have uh, a pacemaker or other metal work in their body, which means it's not safe to do an MRI. So for these people, we may end up using other types of imaging tests, such as a PSMA PET scan, um, or even doing the biopsy in a systematic way rather than targeting it, just making sure we've got good coverage of the prostate.